Hey guys, I'm just going to review what's been going on in football for the first week of outdoor. So far, we started the outdoor season on May 10th, and we've had in total, up until May 14th, 18 games. We've had six player issues in those 18 games, and I'm going to quickly review some of those now. On Saturday, we had 12 games. We had two games that had issues. The first game was an OC of number five, Razorbacks. Uh, this is a player that we've had multiple OCs and player problems with last year as well. So keep your eyes open for number five Razorbacks. Seems to be a pretty common uh, problem with um, behavioral issues. Uh, we had a pretty serious issue as well uh, on Saturday. This is a, the second issue that we had. It involved three players. Uh, apparently there was a completed pass and following the pass there was a punch thrown. As we know, a punch is an automatic ejection from the game, 25-yard foul, and likely they will be removed from uh, the season from the league, and we will report that to the league. Number nine from the Blue Devils reportedly threw the punch. Number 44 from the Blue Devils was also given a roughing penalty, as well as number 47 of the Vipers. So that was the Blue Devils versus the Vipers. Whoever uh, attends the next game of the Blue Devils and Vipers, we might want to be on high alert. So that was Saturday, a total of four players involved with player altercations out of a total of 24 teams that played and about 240 players in total, which was, uh, statistically speaking, not terrible. Tuesday we had three games and all of them were clean, and Thursday we had three games and we only had one problem, and that was with Mike Sutton playing for the Sharks versus the rusher from uh, Florentino Fitness. Uh, apparently the referee dealt with it on the field. It was uh, OCs on both sides offsetting and apparently there was no further action. So that uh, conducts the uh, misconducts that's taken part in the first week. Uh, what I did also want to talk about is some player issues, rather some referee issues. Uh, I've got three to discuss. Number one, it is absolutely imperative that headlinesmen get off the line. Uh, we've said it all last year, and uh, we're very serious about it this year. You cannot stay on the sideline. After every single play, the headlinesmen should be walking into the middle of the field at the end of every single play. It is simply unfair for you to stand on the sideline and just slowly walk up and down the field when there's so much work to be done in the middle. So at the end of every play, you should be holding the spot and you should be, if the spot is on your hash mark to your sideline, stand on the exact spot where the play ended and then pass it off to the middle of the field. If the play ends on the other side of the field, come all the way into the hash marks and hold the spot when you pass it off to the umpire, help the referee get the bags. We're a team. On the end of every single play, all three refs should be moving approximately 30 yards. If you're not doing that, you're not doing a fair uh, share of your work and that's not fair to the rest of the crew and uh, we need to have everybody involved okay so uh, main key HLs just keep coming in as often as you can umpires also just a small tip if you play at about the 15 yard mark and take two steps back at the time of the snap and read the play you'll probably find that you'll save a lot of steps because if you're standing 20 or 25 yards back you're just adding a tremendous amount of uh, distance on the most common plays, which are three to seven yard plays in outdoor. The second issue that we have is uh, umpires. Umpires and headlinesmen, when you make a call, one person holds the spot, the other person tells the referee uh, what the call is. Your job's not over once you do that. You have to move the bags. Referees never move the bags during a penalty application. If the referee is talking to the team, getting options, as soon as they get an option, that referee should turn around to one of the other officials, and the other official should set the bag while the head referee announces the foul and explains it to the teams. Very important. Otherwise, you're going to be standing uh, literally on the sidelines with nothing to do or deep in the field watching the head referee talk to teams and walk up and down the field uh, doing 40 yards of walking while you've done nothing. So again, let's all be a team and work together. Uh, and finally, number three, a scheduling. We'll be trying to schedule well in advance, as we always do. In the beginning of the season, it's often difficult. I haven't gotten a lot of availability from people, and we've been running with uh, shorter rosters, which uh, is leading to certain guys having to do much longer game assignments than they want to. 
So I am bringing in approximately seven uh, new rookie officials, and they will be uh, coming in to offset some of that extra work so that we no longer have guys doing two and three games when they only want one or two. Uh, what this means is anybody who can commit every single Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., you must let me know, and then I will give you games every single Saturday. If you cannot commit to every single Saturday or the days that we have football, with the exception to say one or two weekends, then I will uh, have to share the remaining games with the people who are not providing that commitment. The reason is simple. Uh, if everybody is available on the 10th, it's not fair that guys that help me out on the 22nd uh, have to sit out when they want to work every single week. The toughest part is when we are six and seven fields spread out and we need 25 officials on the field and we only have 30 available and 15 of them go on vacation. So uh, we're looking for people who can commit every single Saturday. If you can, you'll be given those games and guaranteed it. If you cannot commit, then I'll do the best I can to share the rest of the games evenly, giving you the assignments that you're looking for. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Uh, this was easier to do by video than to type.